Oh, fantastic. This is just what I needed. Hey guys, it's Henry 69046 here. I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival Season 7, Episode 8. Um, I'm starting out in a cave because we were low on iron from that little village project we did, which I will show you in a minute. So I needed to go caving, snagged some of this. We finished the village in a live stream I did last night at around 11 or 12-ish. I don't know. It's a bad time to do a live stream, but whatever. Um, ooh, new things, right? I know. Um, we had 30 levels, and I didn't have enough iron, so I enchanted a pickaxe from here, as you can see right now. That'd be really bad. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And then I went ahead and whenever I got all the stuff for this enchanting table, we had just enough books, by the way, to make the fully enchanting chanting station. I also went ahead and made another portal just for the heck of it. And, um, wow, we have plenty of lapis. I also found eight diamonds. Well, no, I used this pick. I found three diamonds, and you can see how many I picked up. group of diamonds. Let's find out how many. Hopefully more than two, but you never know. The key is to dig underneath these two so we don't lose any. Aw. Where's, where's your friends? Bring friends next time. Alright. I also enchanted a pickaxe off screen. Well, I did it during the stream, but still, you know, not in an episode. I enchanted this pickaxe. And I got efficiency 4 and breaking 3, fortune 3. So we're gonna slap these babies with fortune. And we got 8 from 3. That's a pretty good deal if you ask. 8. Didn't find 8. Mind 8. Whatever. You know. It makes sense. Um, and we got plenty of iron, too, over a stack from that little caving expansion. So that's pretty much where we are right now. I did a really jumbled intro, so I had to clear things up for you there. Um, so now we're going to cut, and we're going to go look at the village, which I finished. So see you Alright, so before we go to the village, I realized I had 30 levels, so I think we're going to either enchant a sword or a pick. Sharpness 4, we're enchanting a sword. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we can enchant a pick later. Uh, we can't pass on sharpness for though. So, let's get our lapis. And let's use this 30 levels here. Sharpness 4. Knock back 2. That's not great, but it's not bad either. Um, I think we're going to save it for now. Because I want to get an Unbreaking 3 book, which I think one of the villagers had. So maybe we'll be able to do some trading while we're over at the village. Alright, now let's go to the village. I just found a spider dungeon while doing some work here. I'd be interested to see what's in this chest as soon as I can manage to actually kill these stupid things. Are you kidding me? How did you spawn in? Stop. Cheaters. Alright, uh... Ooh, diamond horse armor. Free iron, string, whatever. We want plenty of string. More diamond horse armor. We'll take it. We want a name tag. We can name something now. What the? Alright, moving on. Alrighty, guys. So we finally made it to the village. Um, it's right down here. I haven't transported all of the villagers yet, but I've transported the majority of them. Um, They're right down here. Welcome to the underground village complete. This does work as an actual village, as you can see. We got majority of librarians down here, because I want their sweet books. We're going to have some nice enchantments thanks to these guys. And I think we're just going to stick with the village theme for a full episode, because today... We, oh, we got two blurb guys, don't we? Today we're going to be building automated farms so that we can... Um, what do you call it? So we can take advantage of these guys, essentially, and trade them, get emeralds, buy stuff. We don't have a farmer here yet, but we'll, we'll transport that by the, by the time we get all these farms mass-producing goods. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'll meet you guys down in the mine, and that's where we're going to basically do this, um, uh, do this project. So I'll see you all there. Alrighty guys, so we're going to be doing the farms in their underground mine here. Ooh, why is this like this? This should not be like that. Um, 
I think we got an underground base theme kind of going here, so we're going to continue with that. We'll probably do it off on just in one of these little mine shaft areas, maybe down one of these hallways. But before we can do that, we must head into the nether to gather some supplies. Um, today's episode might just be gathering supplies, to be honest. Um, ooh, we got a fortress right there. Um, I went ahead and just built that little wall there. I haven't actually explored this. But it is good to know that we have a fortress over there. Okay, let's go about this safely, I think. That would be a good idea. We're also going to grab some quartz while we're here. Because I need XP. I want to have a decent pick to dig out this room. I mean, yeah, I got this pick right here. But I want to <coughs> I want a pick that I'm not afraid to put some wear and tear on. Because I want this pick to last a while. This is the pick that a man dreams about. But we're also looking for glowstone. And I'm not seeing any with within easy reach. I don't think that one over there is really easy. I wouldn't define it as easy, that is. Um No. Nah. Let's see, wasn't there glowstone over here maybe? Yes, indeed. Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and fill that in. We're going to go ahead and crouch, too, so we don't fall. And it's not the glowstone we're looking for. The glowstone is going to be used in a crafting recipe. We're going to be making redstone lamps. And basically, this design, you, it doesn't use pistons. It uses controlled lighting. And once a, a room goes completely dark, the crops that will be growing will um, pop up basically and whenever that happens we get oh crap we just walk up pick up the stuff turn the lights back on and replant alright nice we got plenty of glowstone here glowstone dust uh... we're gonna keep looking though I don't know if 16 is going to be enough. Ooh, cool. Magma. Oh, there's a fortress right there. Let's see if we can climb up here and check. Uh, um, this video is probably going to be going out on either Thursday or Friday. Surprisingly, I have less time than expected on summer break. <laughs> um, so, we'll see when this video actually gets to all. I was supposed to record yesterday, but I messed up on that. Uh, here we go. There's a ghast over there. Hopefully he leaves us alone. I don't want to have to deal with that. Ah, uh, it's great to have a easy source of XP. Who needs a mob farm when you got this? Maybe we'll get up to level 33 while we're here. What was it? Uh, my, this place is should be around back, right? Wasn't there? There was a fortress here, right? I'm not insane. We're going to verify that this fortress is over here. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll just go to this one over here, I guess. Um, or whichever one's easiest to get to. Looks like this over here. There is loot in these places too. That's why I want to show this on camera so you all can see what I get. Make sure I'm not cheating. Uh, up and around. That's one thing I really don't like to do in this game is cheat. I know whenever you watch a YouTuber and you find out they cheat, it kind of ruins the whole, the whole idea of it. Ooh, 32 pieces of quartz. Not bad. Oh boy, but in here, don't get this sword. Oh crap. Ah. Uh. I've been withered. That's not. Oh, he dropped a skull. Skull. My man dropped a skull. 
Okay, good. We didn't stay with her for long. Look at that. That is some um, legitness right there. Legitness. What the heck? Alright. Come on. I don't know how crafting works in this game anymore, by the way. S or not crafting, but brewing. So hopefully the mod doesn't get updated because the new versions of this game is pretty trash, not gonna lie. Microsoft doesn't know what they're doing. Boy, I thought he was gonna sneak up on me. No, he ain't either, though. Tell him to catch his hands. Oh, I was about to beat the heck out of you. Why am I beating that with an axe? Wasting durability is what I'm doing. Mm. Now we need more glowstone, I think. I'll snag a saddle, though. That is 100% okay. Um, let's see. I think... I, hmm. This isn't very good quality video, is it? No, it's not. I think I'm gonna cut out and then come back in once I've explored the majority of this fortress, so... Be right to Alrighty, guys, so I'm... Whoops. Do you get four every time from this? No. Don't use fortune pick on glowstone, by the way. If you never knew that. I'm, I think we're wrapping up here in the nether. We've got over a stack of glowstone, um, 33 levels, a bunch of quartz. I didn't explore most of that fortress. I mean, heck, we got a wither skeleton head. I'm not going to push my luck here. The nether can be dangerous. So I'm just going to work my way back to the portal at this point. There's no reason to risk... Um, all of these items that we have collected. I mean, heck, I got a... That man just despawned right in front of me. There's no reason to risk what I've been, um, uh, what I've earned. So I'll, um, uh, I'll see you all back at the portal. And as you can see, I only have two pieces of cooked mutton left right as I find the portal. And if someone were to push their luck, they might have ran out of food trying to explore this place by the way I'm pushing my luck right now by taking that path right there so don't do that but there you go that's how you don't push your luck in this game hey piece of garbage okay let's get out of here <laughs> uh, then we can start working on the farm Alrighty guys, we're going to enchant two things here. Ooh, this bow would be infinity. So let's just go ahead and do a bow enchantment, because infinity, I like the sounds of that. Oh, we need lapis. We're going to check every single one and do smart enchantments here. It's early on in the world. Power three, infinity. Okay. Now what is this? Unbreaking three. Silk touch, that is tempting. We could also put it on a shovel, pickaxe, whatever. Alright, what is our thorns too? Is, is that the same for all of them, I think? Let's check. Respiration 3. Ooh. Now, well, I don't, we don't have a... S ooh, we do have... Don't have Death Strider either. Um, hmm. I think we're going to go for the pick here. Silk touch, that's sounding pretty good, you know? We'll get some free s cooked stone if we mine out these rooms with this. So, um, uh, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, no way. Look at these picks. That's a, that's MVP right here. Fortune three and Silk Touch, both of them breaking three efficiency four on them. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, that's some good enchantments right there. I will take them any day of the week. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. A dual wielding. Um, let's get started on these farms real quick. Alrighty, guys. So I'm in a creative world, and you're probably wondering why. Um, basically, this project bigger than I thought. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So these lights are evenly spread out with two spaces next to them of blocks. And I'm trying to figure out the best way for us to build this farm because this actually won't work right here. Because right here, 
a crop level needs a required light level or what the heck a crop in this game needs a required light level of eight to or no nine to to um uh to grow so if you see right here it says light 10 light 9 light 8 they cannot grow here and it needs to be so say this is the crop right here that's a piece of wheat here I'll just get some dirt sorry about to end the episode off here anyways because of this reason we get out of hoe alright oh, we can see this is level 9 this is level 8 we get out seed this right here will grow this one will oh it's yeah it's cuz that doesn't have light level but this right this one will not grow this one will because at this block right here the block above it so at this level of block right here also the same level that our head is at which is why we can accurately use the F3 menu to determine this we can see that this one is light level 9, this one is light level 8. So, um, this design right here is not going to work. That means I have to make these one closer, which essentially means a light would go here, a light would go here, and as you can see, that's starting to get quite costly, I'd say. So... By the way, that's definitely not going to grow, by the way. I can, I looked it up on the wiki. Trust me. <laughs> so, if we did it like this, I don't think it's going to be... Well, we know it's not going to grow. This becomes light level 9. All of this can grow. And then when we flip out the lights, all of them, and it gets to that really dark level, that block will pop up so that's it that's the design um, that's I gotta dig out a bunch though and I gotta figure out the dimensions so I'm basically gonna end off the episode here just so I can um, uh, get an episode out to you guys I got a lot of editing to do with it and whatnot should have it out expect a live stream tonight um, I'm determining on whether or not to do a live stream on YouTube or Twitch so I'll probably put a poll up if you can click the poll, let me know if you'd rather have it on YouTube or Twitch. I'll probably try out YouTube tonight just so you guys can gauge which one you like better. That's going to do it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye.